Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn how to find total number of factors. How many factors are there? Suppose for a number n, whose prime factorization is given by x to the power of a times y to the power of b. So, we get the total number of factors by adding 1 to each exponent and then multiplying these together. That's it. That's how you find total number of factors. So, what can I write? Total number of factors is given by, we take the exponents a, add 1 to that, take this exponent b, add 1 to that, and then multiply them together. That's how you find the total number of factors. All right, let's take an example. For example, if we have a number 105, 405, we'll use a tree method to find the prime factors. So we need to check what pair of numbers multiply to give 105. So that can be 3 times 35, so here we got a prime number 3. Now 35 is a composite number. We can again find a pair of number which can multiply to give us 35. So what's that? That will be 5 times 7. And we know that 5 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number. They cannot be broken down again. So we have got the product of prime numbers. That is 3 times 5 times 7 and what's the power we have only 1 3 1 5 and 1 7 so what's your exponents it's in the form of x to the a times y to the b so total number of factors will be take the exponents 1 and add 1 to that then we take another exponent 1 and add 1 to that take another exponent 1 and add 1 to that so what's this 1 plus 1, 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 8. So we have total 8 factors of 105. Yes, that's right. And how to find all the 8 factors? So let us find the factors of 105 using multiplication method. So what do we do? I'll just write the number here, 105. And then just draw a straight line. Now, in order to find the factors of 105 using multiplication, we need to check what pairs of numbers multiply to give 105. So, we need to divide 105 by natural numbers starting from 1. Alright, and then go on, keep on dividing. So, 1 multiplied by what number gives 105? So, that's 105. That's one pair. Then, going on with the second number. Is 105 divisible by 2? No. So let's go on with another number. That's 3. So let's check if 105 is divisible by 3. Yes. 3 times 35 gives 105. That's another pair. Then next, let's go on with 4. It's not divisible by 4. So leave it. Go on with number 5. 5 times what gives 105? That's 21. 105 divided by 5 is 21. So that's another pair. Let's check for 6. No, six. it's not divisible by 6. Let's check for 7. Yes, 7 times 15 is 105. Then you don't have 8, 9, 10s, 11s, 12s, 13s. They are not divisible by 105. They don't give you a remainder of 0 after dividing. So we end up our factors here. After the list is noted, we get all the factors of 105 starting up from 1 up there and coming down all the way down till 7 and then we go up again up to 105. This gives us a complete list of factors of 105. So therefore, how many factors are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So we have got the total number of factors are 8 and what are they? 1, 3, 5, 7, 15, 21, 35, 105. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Total of 8 factors what we have got.
Similarly, you can find it for other numbers as well. If you have any suggestions, do write it down in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.